Ocean County Mosquito Commission's Walt Damon is on the hunt for mosquito larvae. They'll always be around. You can only control their numbers, which is what we try and do to stop disease outbreak. Diseases like West Nile. Ocean County Health Department's Leslie Turgeson worries Superstorm Sandy created more areas for standing water, the perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. We are extremely concerned in Ocean County about West Nile this summer. We have a lot of um, drains that water is still having a difficult time getting through because of sand. We have a lot of homes that have uh, dumpsters at them that haven't been emptied yet uh, and we have a lot of homes that have been abandoned. When you have more mosquitoes there's potential for more increased risk of mosquito-borne illnesses such as West Nile virus. There were 48 cases of West Nile last year resulting in six deaths. It's a dramatic increase from 2011 seven cases and no fatalities. As for this year, it's really hard to predict what the season is going to be like um, this year, um, but because of the damage from Sandy, you know, we certainly are um, continuing our vigilance um, as we typically do every single year. That's exactly what mosquito inspectors in Ocean County are doing. We follow a team as they sample water, identify the presence of mosquito larvae, and then spray areas with BTI, an environmentally friendly pesticide. Whatever inspectors can't reach on the ground, they control from the sky with these helicopters. Helicopters. We've stepped up our efforts and hopes to try and do everything we can do uh, that, you know, that's required of us and then some, but it's really difficult because of the amount of debris you're talking about out there, so we're kind of like also calling on the public. Experts recommend taking a good look around your backyard. Tires, kid pools, toys and buckets can all become breeding grounds for mosquitoes. All they need is standing water, even in something as small as this bottle cap. The recent wet weather has become another major concern in contributing to a growing mosquito population. Wet weather um, sometimes does help uh, with um, increasing the possibility for having more areas and more wet areas for mosquitoes to breed. But Damon insists rainy conditions don't necessarily equal a greater risk of West Nile. You tend to have higher virus outbreaks and uh, smaller portions of water because it's concentrated where the virus activity can take off. Experts insist staying aware is key, and this summer, keep the mosquito repellent handy. In Berkeley Township, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.